So, we rejoin the crew in yet another situation, as they always are. Ollie, Ed, dot, dot, dot. The three of you are standing on the uh, edge of a skyscraper in front of a broken, busted out window, 40 stories up looking out over the Gotham City Financial District. The wind is whipping back into the building, scattering papers behind you. I think, Ollie, your mixed success in shattering the window, the mixed part of that success is specifically going to be it is notably windy today. So you can, uh, the, the wind is just blowing in through this window you can see it sort of uh just snapping the the cables wobbling the cables of this window washing platform that is probably a dozen stories below you uh and which dot 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 insists you need to jump on as your escape route dot 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 what's your move okay carabiners uh cords uh so you're gonna hook the carabiner like this and shows like this you're gonna hold on to the carabiner this is really not how you're supposed to do this but we don't have a lot of choices are you ready and then i'm holding no i'm not ready great <laughs> like and you and you push off uh and out the window with ed and ollie <laughs> attached to you Let's get a roll. Uh, everybody also mark off uh, climbing gear, I think, is a, an yes. item on your gear list. Mark Correct. off that you have brought climbing gear. I We didn't. Speaking as somebody who is a professional rope, a rope access professional, we did not bring climbing gear. We did we not. Have... This is scraps that uh, Dot 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 just has on them. Yeah. Also, climbing <laughs> gear in quotation. Yeah, for the record. Yeah, put put please. quotations around it on the sheet. Yeah, but but Flights of Fandom do, and Manipod Studios does not endorse using carabiners on your belt loop as a form of personal Please. <laughs> they do not do that. Please this do not do that. There you will die. Die. For tomorrow. We've had a lot of fun here today. <laughs> <laughs> These are stunts performed by professionals in a controlled environment. A controlled yes. fictional environment. <laughs> yes. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Really I think you are... Environment. It sounds to me like you are maneuvering yes. your way out of the window and down the rope. Because you are in the lead and everyone else is attached to you, mm -hmm. I will allow you to make the roll for everyone yes the other option is everybody can roll individually fuck that no I'm however everybody. we're out of I stress teamwork actions are die. not on the table yep yep okay cool um all right so we're starting with your maneuver rating you're gonna be down one because this is for sure a desperate action yes you don't have the right desperate. gear you're fleeing for your lives on the 40th floor of a skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we just threw a fax Please machine don't die. out the window of. Please don't die. Yeah, uh, you, you push move? yourself. We can talk about Shh. devil's bargains. This is going to be a six. Are you ready? Oh my god, it was a six! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Holy fucking shit. That's screaming okay. the whole way down. The way you paused before it made me. Oh, I, I, I had to practice. register that it was a six and not a one. <laughs> it was a six. Okay, cool. Um, that six fills your crew clock to escape. You had yes. one segment left, and so did the Riddler goons. Ugh. So, dot, dot, dot. Describe to me what it looks like as the three of you repel out of not really repel yeah fake repel fake out repel. of fall yeah right uh, this is one out of, those of the side of this building and down the lines onto this platform and then down to the ground you can get all the way down with this because you filled the clock i, I want to be clear this is absolutely something that like some like 
bad movie critique channel would be like, um, actually, this isn't how repelling works. Um, but this is a goddamn movie, so who cares? You just see, um, like, when Ed is like, no, I'm not ready. Uh, dot, dot, dot <laughs> is like, great. Like, grabs him, jumps backwards. Um, and uh, everybody goes along. Uh, Ollie, are you just, like, holding on to, like, your, your like, attached carabiner? Yeah, I think Ollie has um, <clears throat> Ollie has basically um, jumped right on top of you guys, and is um, and is basically just is hanging on, but is trying to use their um, like basically trying to use their knees to hold on to Ed. I think um, so we're all kind of connected as yeah, one yeah. big human ball. <laughs> Great, we fall a little bit. There's definitely um, a, a manic energy coming out of dot, dot, dot. Yeah, we can hear the just this high-pitched whine of the carabiner scraping along the line all the way down. Uh, I think we land hard, but not brutally. So it's there's like a like a metal, like, <laughs> gong, gong, gong. Um, and we kind of like spin a little bit as it like tries to like recenter and like balance again. And uh, dot 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 gives like a little like <laughs> um, as uh, uh, just like pops up like like a like a jack in the box, and then looks for the lever to just like automate this down. Um, yep. Before realizing like, wait, one two three, uh, and looks back up for Jackie, and Jackie is nowhere God to be damn seen. It, Jackie, fuck. Jackie, yeah. you are in this pitch black hallway. You can hear the, there. there's this sort of momentary scuffle and a couple of curses. For, ah, God damn it, who turned out the lights? When you, uh, when you hit the light switch. Um, and then you are in pitch blackness in this hallway isolated from any windows so you're not really getting much in the way of ambient light spilling in from either end um, and you can hear these guys uh, sort of shuffling around in front of you for a few seconds and then you hear the ceiling overhead clatter apart as oh. a ceiling vent crushes in Somebody lands in front of you, and then in rapid succession, you hear the swish of fabric and fists and feet hitting bodies as you can hear these guys, these Riddler goons, just dropping one by one as somebody in the pitch blackness is taking them down with absolute brutal efficiency and there is a beat of silence as the last of the bodies hits the floor and then you hear closer to you than you were than you were necessarily expecting are you okay you took your time i came as fast as i could all right well thanks I guess we broke out of uh, the more immediate dangerous situation before you could get here. Good. Then you're as capable as I thought you were. All right. Okay. Look, uh, <laughs> there's uh, a lot going on now, but... Uh... There is, and we're going to talk about it. Come on. And you... Come on? Wait, I... You can feel, him, you can feel an, an arm around you. Uh, and Jackie, you have, you have the ability to, he's supporting you, but he needs you to grab onto him as well. Whoa. Uh. Do you do it? I mean, do I really have a choice? I love that you're like, oh, yes, you can awesome. choose not to, but this is like level five and I'm not quite sure I really have a say in this. Little possum, Jackie. Uh, yeah, I think things are moving too fast. So Hold yeah, on. she's okay. gonna go. <laughs> so Hold on, yeah, tight you spider monkey. Don't you, <laughs> you even? 
<laughs> well, now I'm not doing it. I'm actually throwing myself out of a window, so. Uh, and you hear- uh, I know what you are. Thing. You hear the <laughs> spring-loaded blast of a, a grapple hook and then the whine of a high-powered winch and suddenly you are rocketing up uh, into the ceiling. And after, uh, I think, just a, uh, just a couple of moments, you, uh, you essentially burst out of a, an open vent onto the roof of the Ace Chemical building, and you uh, land, and Batman removes his arm from around you, and you can see that you are on the roof with Batman and the Batwing. Come on. This was, come on. What are you doing? I, I have to get back to the rest of them. This is the opposite of where I'm supposed to be. Uh, he, he sort of looks over the side of the roof. I think they can handle themselves from here. What are you, what, I'm with you for what purpose? What do you, what, why? You're going to brief me on what happened in there. Can I just say, while like looking up, at first, at like the window we just escaped, and then further up, and then just being like, "Is that fucking bad?" <laughs> just yeah, you you just catch Holy like shit, it's you just catch Batman. like the slightest the slightest hint of like Ears. black points. <laughs> like it's like sixty stories as up, as your see. as your like you know just just like dropping, having pulled the lever and taken this thing all the way down. Mm-hmm. Look, I called you because I thought we were about to die. No way out. I, 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 that, that, that was that was it. Brief you on what? What? <laughs> you could start by telling me why you were in there. Well, uh, I think the pertinent information for yourself, because I don't give uh, a damn about what happens to the Riddler, is that he's developed a new kind of weapon that if you look at it, you die. How's that? So you were after the basilisks. Oh, you know about them. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, of course you do. I, uh... And what were yes. you going to do with them, Jackie? No, I wasn't going to do anything with them. He gives you... He gives you a, an oh, really look. I wasn't going to do any... That's above my pay grade. What do you... <laughs> look, I know you don't like me, but come on. I, me use some sort of super tech to kill people? That's not my style. We were just, I was hired to just steal the I payroll. I didn't think it okay? was. Okay, is that what you uh, wanna hear? This is a victimless crime. So you're telling me you infiltrated Riddler's base, made it past all of his traps and puzzles, risked death by looking at an image for the payroll. What's not clicking? I thought I was training you for something else. Oh, for something else? No, 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 no. You were just helping me so that I could find a better way to not kill people. That's all this arrangement was about. I was very clear on that. What did you think was happening here? And how many people did you kill in there? None. I didn't have to kill anybody. Then I guess it's working. You're not... <laughs> Look. You can take that information and do whatever that you want with it. The money was just to help Harvey and I. That's all I was in it for. He's doing better. It's the therapist that you found. It. She is really helping him and I needed the money. It was a one-time thing. That's all I needed it for. It's not going to guns. It's not funding a, a mob war. They just want to get a house. And uh, you can take the basilisk information. I don't want that anywhere near anybody. Take it. Do whatever you want with it. Um, Where is it? I wish I knew. We thought it was going to be worth the rest of the money. It wasn't. I think it was a trap for you. It always is, sooner or later, with the Riddler. Well, you're welcome. You get that one for free. We, we busted that one pretty good. The basilisks are too dangerous to be out in Gotham. They you understand out that. In Gotham. I, he's sold them to the Mad Hatter. That's the information I needed. So happy I could provide that for you. 
Uh, he turns away and starts walking towards the Batwing. Um, he will call over his shoulder. You're sure you don't want to ride? It's a long drop. You can get me down there without the rest of them seeing me. Then sure. And he cocks his head towards the Batwing. Okay. Ed, Ollie, dot, dot, dot. You, I'm going to say, uh... <laughs> With with a with a modicum of force, slam into the sidewalk uh, at the base of Ace Chemical. Uh, n- not enough to injure anybody, but definitely enough to rattle you. What's the crew's getaway plan here? What did first you set all, up? First of all, Fun? I tagged the building. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Do you, as you are going down, like after you've pulled the lever, do you whip out the spray paint and tag it all the way down the side as you go? That is correct. That is in fact correct. Fuck yeah. Yeah, great. And so you you hit the bottom and then you put dot, 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 Mm -hmm. right? My little tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. What is your getaway plan? You got a car? <laughs> sure fucking find one. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's just like old times. Uh, did, did, uh, did, so canonically, did, um, did we see, did we see that Batman was there? Is that a canonical thing? We you don't know. Little- Poke of the head. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I yeah. saw him, you guys. It's completely unclear. We gotta get out of here. Then we gotta lay low for a second, and we'll find what we Jackie. Gonna, what are we gonna? We we cannot stay we're gonna here. Kill her. I mean, we can't just leave her there. Head red. Um, and I can always find a vehicle, mine or somebody else's in the immediate area, and I have a additional dice to un- unlock it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, cool. So you are on the, let's say, yeah, I, you, you didn't incur, you didn't incur any, like, uh, additional, wait, sorry, what was, what was the roll to get out? What was, what was the result for that? That was a six, wasn't it? For the the repel, yeah, that's a six. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you know, no mixed success. So you end up on uh, on an alley side of the building where um, there aren't too many people around. And Ollie, given your ability, um, I think there are uh, a couple of um, delivery vans parked here, and you can grab one of those if you want. All right. Uh, do I need to uh, roll to unlock it? Or cool. Start yeah. It uh, give me, give me a, give me a roll to unlock, start the whole. This will cover, uh, you know, everything you need to get tinker? into the car and get it started. Um, yeah, I think you're probably tinkering with the car to to do that. Uh, Any dice down or no dice down? You're you're at level. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a three and a two. Ooh. Three and a two. Okay. Um, so with a uh yeah um hmm. used up all my luck (laughs) okay so either uh here i'll give you two options here either you can get the car but jackie is not going to show up at this point or um all of these cars are uh are just you just don't have time like you know you're you're moving too quickly and you can't get into any of them fast enough to get them going and you're just going to have to book it on foot question you said if we find a car we won't see Jackie if we go on foot will we see Jackie yes let's just go on foot on foot, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with that meta narrative. I think if Ollie was like struggling to get the, uh, something open, be like, just fucking move. Look, mm-hmm. we've got a shitload of cash. Yeah, we're like Ollie, you're, like you shit. know, you're great at this, but you're rattled, and you know, you're bruised, you're stressed, 
like you're yeah. you're not at your best here. So uh, I think you you try a couple, not opening, not opening, not opening. And it's forget like, it. It's it's an area just that's like go. there's enough people that I don't want to risk breaking the window. I don't have the tools on me to to pick to you know yeah the lock. It's it's just the mess. Yeah, um, I mean at either end of the uh, at either end of the alley, like it goes to sidewalks in the financial district with somewhat busy streets. So there's a bunch of people going back and forth there, right? Um, so I think. Uh, yeah, uh, I think what happens is you pick a direction and you, you know, the, the cars aren't doing it. You head, you head towards the street, you know, you shoulder your bags with what, uh, what you've managed to grab, um, of the payroll and as substantial. Yeah. Uh, and as you, uh, as you come out onto the street, Coming from the other direction is Jackie. Hey! Thank God you guys got down here. Okay. What the? Jackie, how did you? I just I went out the other side. Other side? What do you mean the other side? The building? That got through the window? Yeah. To the wall? (laughs) You can make. (laughs) You know what, kid? You can make jokes when we're out of here. How's that? I'm doing so good. Okay. That's, well, think about that fine. positive attitude. Yes. That's, uh, that's real lucky. Yeah. Um, does anybody have a, anybody got a smartphone? Just call, call like a, an umbra or something. Uh, I got a phone. Yeah, what just, do you need me to call? An, an umbra. There's oh. too many people around. Uh-huh. Bap, 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 bap. <laughs> got one. Three minute okay. wait. <laughs> But they always say it's three minutes, but it's been more like nine. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, well. And you are just standing at the <laughs> bottom of here. the tower. Yeah, if no. you're waiting for this car. I, can I, up at the I top. want to move. I want to yeah, move no, away I'll, I'll, re, I'll readjust the pickup location. Hold on. Um, yeah, put the pickup location like three three blocks east. I, I bought it at Goth Bucks. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Right. Honestly, I could Ollie, use nice tea. Are you guys okay? Oh, <laughs> shockingly, I'm you're really... standing. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna count that as a win. That was the craziest fucking job I think yeah. we have ever. I don't know. That um, I don't know. I'd say that after every job, there's there's been some crazy ones, but uh, I certainly never tangled with uh, an image that can kill you by looking at it. That's yeah, no, I, no. pretty good. Oh, no, I don't think so. But we're going to talk about that later. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. Uh, Look, nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Well, we didn't hope Jillian, get. I hope Jillian Jorts got out okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, interesting that you should mention <laughs> that. Uh-oh. Because we see the, uh, we see the four of you blending mm-hmm. back into the financial district crowds headed down Blending. a couple we're of... covered in blood <laughs> yeah uh it's a it's a good thing nobody pays too much attention to weird shit in this city right mm-hmm. <laughs> headed back uh headed back in the direction of the goth bucks to pick up your your escape ride uh which is just an uber uh it's fine <laughs> it's don't worry about umber. it an umbra. umbra. It's an umbra. It's yes. important. And our view moves back to Ace Chemical. Um, and we, uh, we sort of move around the side of the building back into the alleyway where you initially entered Riddler's base. <laughs> Uh, near that loading dock. We see a side door burst open and J.J. Jorts emerges into the alleyway, clutching a a backpack. She looks left, she looks right, and heads off down the alley at a 
pretty fast clip away from the Ace Chemical Tower. And as she goes, she pulls off her pink wig and stuffs that into the backpack, pulls out uh, a hoodie, sunglasses, earbuds, puts those on, and by the time she turns onto the street corner, headed in the opposite direction of the direction that you folks were going, uh, she looks like a completely different person. She taps her phone, uh, adjusts her, her earbud, Waits a moment. Yeah, Bruce, it's Stephanie. Oh, you're on the scene. I could handle this one by myself. I was doing fine. You got a call. Oh, well, that's interesting. Because, uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't get out on my own. Yes. Yeah, they helped me. I guess your little, uh, Criminal Crew Pet Project is good for something. Just to be clear, I would have gotten out on my own. Yes. The real Jillian Jorts is safe. She's at her dorm. She probably has no idea that anything happened. Yeah, I'm going to check in on her now, and I'll, I'll keep an eye on her. Make sure the Riddler doesn't try anything additional. Right. Yeah, will do. And she glances up and we hear the roar of a jet engine uh, as she watches the bat wing swoop overhead and depart the scene. David. Oh my oh no. God. Wow, David, that was okay. that was good. <laughs> Cut back to the crew. Where do you regroup? Hey, gang. Uh, Y'all want to head to my mom's? Um, is your mom going to be really cool about a number of things really, really quickly? Uh, Jackie says as she wipes off the blood that I think is just decorating the entire bottom half of her face. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is a wild decision. What? Okay, you know what? I'm in no state to argue. <laughs> I'll go anywhere you drag this old bag of bones. Hey. I would, however, like to, if we're in that car, text Harvey that I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, you can absolutely do that, no problem. So, uh, your ride heads uptown and I think we see uh, we see the door of the the uh, uh, Jimenez apartment opening. Um, and uh, Adam, you you walk in first um, and you you hear your mom call from the the, the kitchen. Baby boy, is that you? Hi, man. Hey, uh, I, 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 I brought some people over. We're kind of in a tight bind. Could you help out with this something? Oh, sweetie, you know we ain't uh, really uh, prepared for guests right now. Uh, and it's kind she, of an emergency. She, sort of, she comes out and she's like wiping her, her her hands on a on a towel, uh, and sort of like the the three of you see. Uh, a, uh, a, as we have previously described, a gorgeous woman in her uh, mid to late forties. Yes, I believe so. You can you can correct me on any of these details if if uh, I'm wrong, Andre. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this gorgeous woman in her her mid to late forties, uh, curly hair, curvy hips, uh, and a look of dawning horror on her face as she sees the three people that you have brought home, Adam. Uh, oh. Name said, so sorry to barge in like this. Um, uh, honey, are these friends 
from work? No, actually. Do you remember Ollie? Have Ollie, have you met Carrie Jimenez before? I think so. And I th um <clears throat> I was just thinking about this because I was like, because I think when the primary time that Ollie knew dot, dot, dot was some of like the roughest years of Ollie's life in terms of uh, the utter, extremely unsober, extremely high risk stuff. So I'm curious as to see how did, what's your mom think of Ollie? Because I think they, they do know of each other at least. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. The, a... the question is how much is is or was Carrie aware of what you were up to at the time? And I, that feels like a fortune roll situation, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's have. It's just a straight D6. My question is. Okay. So your mom knows you hung out at the yard. She mm -hmm. knows Scraps. We we mm -hmm. know she knows Scraps because mm -hmm. uh, Scraps has said that he promised your mom that he would take care of you when you were at the yard and you would be safe there. But uh, the question is, were you trying to obfuscate or hide what you were doing with Ollie from her or not? Absolutely. 100 fucking percent. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Then I think we're looking at your skulk rating for this fortune roll. Does my mom have a level on me? <laughs> yeah, your your mom and your brother, uh, Adam, as as sort of just regular people, do not have levels. So you actually do have a level on her, but we are looking yeah. at a fortune roll, so level doesn't come into play. Okay. Yeah. It's a four. A four. Okay, so a mixed or weak success. What what fabrication did you invent about what you and Ollie got up to at the yard that your mom knows is not strictly true, but accepts? So, hey mom. Do you remember um, I told you, you know, when I got home last night and I was looking like a little like covered in soot? Yeah, I I just had a really hard time like working some chimney stuff and, you know, I was cleaning out the rafters and it's just real dusty up there. And uh, I, I was with Ali. And... Uh, over back at the yard, baby? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, hey, hey, Ollie, how you doing, sweetheart? It's been a long time since I've seen you. Y yeah, um, uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, how, how, you look healthy? Ollie, Ollie clearly has no ability to handle yeah. a parent figure that isn't just outright abrasive, back, like, batting back and forth, like, with scraps. Like, mm. You look like you could use a hot drink and maybe a first aid kit. How does that sound? Yeah. Um, this is our friend Jackie. She's a little, um, he fell a bunch. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Uh, yeah. And who's this gentleman? Oh, yeah, this is Ed. This, he used to be a coworker of mine. Yes, uh, yes, I, I was, yes. I could use a hot drink too. <laughs> I'm right so up. sorry to, sorry to just intrude like this. This is horribly rude. Well, it's certainly not what I would have expected uh, this, uh, this afternoon, but you know, if uh, your friends are my little baby boy, then your friends are mine. Well, he's a great kid, uh, or man, I should say. Just, uh, Thank you. Does some really solid work. Dot dot dot. If you look over at Jackie, she's still a little like uneasy about everything that has just happened, but also 
you see the radiating big sister energy uh, of somebody that's just learned a new humiliating phrase that she plans on retaining forever. <laughs> Don't you fucking... Oh. Uh, hey, Mom, you know that thing you sometimes call me? We can't... You can't call me that right now. Okay? <laughs> Not the but thing you just said. The other so thing. much worse. <laughs> Jackie just leans in. It's too late. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 there's one you don't know. She can't say that one. Does Ollie okay. know it? Does Ollie know it? Why don't you come help me in the kitchen? <laughs> and she uh, she, she puts an arm around you and gives you a kiss on the forehead, uh, uh, Adam, and somewhat forcefully maneuvers you into the kitchen <laughs> with her. And the three of you are just sort of left standing in the living room, beat up, with backpacks full of stolen money. So this was a bad idea, right? Yeah, is it hot? Um, and uh, yes, Jackie knows. Oh, Ed, you, you good? Just had a, you got a concussion. That's that must be. Oh, Ed, come on. <laughs> I'm, look, oh. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, oh. I mean, oh, I. But yeah, no, we probably should get you some sort of meds for that concussion. Yes, it, like Advil or... I mean, that's all we got. Bandages? Um, yeah, a I lot of Advil. Ollie's gonna, like, poke around in the bathroom medicine cabinet. Great. Right. Like, you're they're, you're they're, just gonna start raiding, raiding yeah. this house. This is my house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Look, yeah. you brought us here because we were fucked up. That's true. That's true. Okay, so yeah, Ali, you just sort of you sidle would, off. Andre, you, ju you just you sort think of... I wouldn't do that to your house. You are wrong. You you I'll are one hundred percent correct. Ollie. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna eat your ibuprofen. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ali, you just you just kind of wander off in, in the general direction of the bathroom. Meanwhile, Andre, I have a very important question for you. What is your question? What is Adam's full name? Oh. <laughs> Not the full name. You're fucked, dude. <laughs> Adam? Yep. Julio? Yep. Juan? Mm hmm. Just mm. steal one of Pedro Pascal's <laughs> names. <laughs> Pedro? <laughs> De La Mancha? He <laughs> managed. <laughs> Great. Did you get all that? I sure did. So the the second you are into the kitchen and out of out of sight and immediate earshot of your friends, your mom turns you around, stares you dead in the eyes. Adam Julio Juan Pedro de la Mancha Jimenez. What in the name of God did you just bring into my house? Before I get to that, I have great news. I don't want to hear it, mister. I don't want to hear your great news. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know it right now. Okay, it's kind of connected. I quit my job. She she leans back and crosses <laughs> her arms like, this had better be good, Buster. So, my friends just got out of a really sticky situation. Oh, yeah. I can tell that. Uh-huh. And, um, uh, I don't know. You might have heard of this guy. Um, his name's the Riddler. Like the criminal. So I used to work for him. But what? I, uh, but I just quit my job, so it's all good. Um, also, he tried stealing my you, art. You, you used to work for him, and you just quit your job today. Yeah. And you used to work for this criminal. Uh -huh. So used to, meaning as of this morning. No, as of like an hour ago. Oh my god. Yeah. The thing you told me yesterday really meant something, Mom. I took it to hard. Uh, what thing that I told you yesterday? Hey, I, that I shouldn't be working on my birthday and that you wanted to spend more time with me and that I, you, I should have normal hours. I wanted you to have normal hours at a normal job. Mom. Are you kidding me? Adam. You're telling me that this entire time 
you've been telling me you're 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 some you're some art director and 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 you're you're working for a criminal. Is I that wasn't seriously director. what you were telling me. Yes. Oh, you were an art director. director for a criminal. Yes. Uh huh. It was very. I worked very hard to develop his aesthetic style. I don't even know what to believe anymore. You 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 you're, you're telling me that that you're that, that you're involved in in organized crime, and and then you're telling me that you're you're doing art direction for it. It's like the least crimey part of any crime syndicate, Mom. Are you kidding me? Like the least crimey part of any crime syndicate. Baby boy, you are going to give your mother an absolute heart attack. You are going to kill me dead in front of you. I cannot believe what I am hearing. Mom, look, I know you want me to live like a normal life and that like you want me to work like a nine to five or whatever. But mom, I'm not a normal kid. I've never been a normal kid. You know this. It doesn't matter if I got fucking Wayne Foundation grant money to go to university early. It didn't matter if I spent extra time at the yard. It didn't matter. Like, I just wasn't ever going to have a normal life. I know that, baby. I know. Of course you're special. Of course. Not like this. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this when we don't have company. As she says I'm... that, you see Ollie sneaking across the background, holding like a bunch, like a bunch of uh, medical supplies from the from the back room. Mom, and like tries to like redirect her away from the opening. Just like, Mom, look, I know this isn't ideal, but I'm trying to help these people. These people are good people, okay? They they need medical relief, okay? We were doing something good. We. We're trying to get my art back, okay? The Riddler was trying to steal my art, okay? You know how much that means to me. Adam, mm -hmm. I think it's time for a roll. Okay. You are trying to, I think very clearly, sway your mom into bare minimum, providing uh, enough to, to get everybody back on their feet and ignoring this at least until they are gone, right? So... We're looking at a sway roll. Okay. Um, I think as as we've established, you do have a level on. I do have a level uh, on Carrie Jimenez, so you're up one to start. You have a level on your mom in your heart. I didn't like the way that was phrased, y'all. I'm taking a photo. It's, that was double sixes. It's yes. Bullshit. Holy yes, shit! Yes, it was. Cool. So double sixes, you get some extra benefit i have an idea okay what is the name of the uh emergency room doctor uh or let's say um let's say the the uh the med student uh who is on uh, an emergency room rotation who lives down the hallway from you i don't know yeah. I'm, I'm picturing like i don't know why this just popped fully formed in my head this is just a suggestion. I'm picturing like one of those like little little Weasley dudes who's gonna who's gonna like kind of lanky and like their hair kind of sucks, but like um and like but is like just on the verge of actually like filling out. Like you know how like it's like all the the studying made them like I don't know not finish puberty, and so like at, at 22 or 23 they just like kind of go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting description. Sure. Picture I agree. that dude. And his name's like Albert or something. Albert. <laughs> Albert. Albert. Okay. Albert the med student. Okay, cool. So your your mother says, I am not gonna turn away people in need. Especially not people who are friends of my baby boy. I'm just glad you're okay. And she sort of, um, she, she has to sort of like take you by the cheek. She sort of like holds your, you know, holds your face. And, uh, you know, you, you see just this, uh, this, this infinite mother's love and tenderness in her eyes, which immediately disappears uh, as she says, but do not think that you are not in the deepest shit you have ever been in your life, mister. Now get the good coffee down. And she plunks the kettle 
onto the the stove uh, and then sort of swoops around the 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 opening of the kitchen back into uh back into the main room and she is like when she when she walks back in uh ed and and jackie uh carrie is just all smiles uh and she says i put some coffee on for you should be ready in a bit I'm just gonna pop down the hall. Uh, one of our, our neighbor's kids is uh, actually uh, in medical school, works in the emergency room. Oh, I'm sure you, you, he can you, he can help you out. So no, don't you worry don't about yourself. it. It's no trouble at all. Your friends are my baby boys, and I want to show you hospitality. And you're clearly no offense, sweetheart. You're in a bad way. So I'll it's be right worse. back. And uh. And as she, uh, Ed, as she passes you, she <laughs> says, and uh, don't you go anywhere either. And oh, she leaves I'll the apartment. Stay right here. Oh. How do you have game when you get your, like, like concussed? Yeah, I am just as surprised as you, okay? <laughs> How does this always I happen don't... to you? I'm... Why, I why are you hitting on my mother? Uh, <laughs> <I> would... <laughs> Me? <laughs> I would never do such Ed? a thing as I hate, I hate hit to tell on you your this. very sweet and you. attractive and kind mother. I would never do that. Ed, I love you like a father. <laughs> you better be you real do? fucking careful. <laughs> Ed instantly starts tearing up. Oh, well, that's... Don't fucking cry on me. I, I don't have time for okay, this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm in, I'm I am in so much trouble for this. Okay? You were the one that brought me. Yeah, because, because it was safe. Because it was safe. Places that are equally safe. I thought that you had some sort of like, your mom was cool with this or something. I just told my mom I worked for the Riddler. Why would you do that? Because yeah, I was, well, she had me cornered. It seems like she's going to be uh, a lot more cool with it. Because... Um, Buddy, I hate to tell you, but Ed didn't hit on your mom. <laughs> Look. You did say you love him like a father. Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, come That's on, sweaty. baby boy. That's you sweaty. can't handle a little teasing. No, you don't get to say that. That's for my mother Listen, and my mother I, alone. Now, I almost got killed on a job that you gave us. I get to call you whatever I you want. You could have called me so many other things related to my name. You could have called me Dottie. You could have called me... I, I don't know. Well, by all means, please give me more ammo. Look, I'm doing y'all a huge favor. I brought you here. Because got us killed. I oh, I'd got, say we're even. I got you money. I didn't even get fucking anything out of it. Okay? All those masks, they're not even there. The only one I have is the one I literally just made today. Okay? Uh, you made... You have one? Yes. Now? On you? Correct. Currently? Yes. Burn it. No. Yes. No. No, part of our deal was that you would destroy the one that kills you. And since I can't have that... I'm changing the deal. Nah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That is not how that works. You are the one that kills you. This doesn't kill listen, you. Listen, I don't care what it does. I've experienced enough of this craziness. Do you really want that to be your legacy? You wanna, you wanna be the one that drives Gotham insane or murders half the population just because they looked at something? You want that? You're what? talented. You you you, you you orchestrated half of everything that happened today. You're so much better than making up some stuff that's just gonna blow people's brains to pieces. You really what? want this life? Look at us. Look at us right now. Look at Ali. Look at Ed. Look at me. You think this is the first time we've looked like this? You want this life? You're gonna look a lot worse than us. Almost it does all the age time. Pretty quick. I'm only thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that true? <laughs> no. No. It is only it's only partially true. <laughs> His ear falls off. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Seriously, kid. I understand. I the whole point of me trying to get these fucking pictures back is that I could use them and make them better. And use them? For what? 
I don't know. That's the whole creative process is discovering. They kill people. They don't have to. Would you, they, you, that, you want, like, would rather they drive you totally insane? You want to rewrite people's whoa, brains, whoa, 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 program them, whoa, whoa. do whatever you want? Look, Could you make somebody like shit themselves. <laughs> I mean that that's what happens when you die. But so, like without the death part. I yeah, would you like solve, you know, like I don't know. Speech? Like could you make what why about are you, depression? Why are you fixated on that? I don't know. Well, I I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jack have you, you should seen, sit down. Have you seen what percentage of Ed's diet is canned beef stew? I'm trying not to think oh about what Ed's God. diet is because you eating cat food, Ed? Not yet. <laughs> I didn't like that answer. I'm Look. Way, way to deflect, kiddo. Look. Look. I didn't even get what I came for. You all got money, okay? Right, you all came out with more us. than I did, okay? I don't even, I don't even know what, what, I understand the Mad Hatter is like, oh, uh, now Alice in Wonderland character. Is there a guy named the Mad Hatter? The fuck? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. He's my sweet summer child. There is a Mad Hatter in Gotham. And he's is he like, creepy. is he like low level? <laughs> Jackie oh, doesn't well, answer that. She's just laughing. I got a couple of friends that used to work with them, and it's bad news. Yeah, frankly, I don't want to have anything to do with that little dude. <laughs> Guess what? We're a little late for that, aren't we? Oh no, no, no! I got my money. I got paid. The deal was that we infiltrate Riddler's base, not Mad Hatter's. <laughs> Hold on, this job isn't even done. Are you kidding me? I didn't get what I came for. The specifics of the deal were that you hired us to break into Riddler's base. And to retrieve the basilisks. I have you one basilisk so? I made today. Do you see any other, other do you see any of the hard drives? Do you see any Do you see that that's gonna get me any more money? Unless you know about some secret stash that the Mad Hatter has. No, why am I even saying that shit? No! We could work something out. <laughs> are we trying to rip off? Are we seriously talking about sitting in your mom's living room trying to talk about ripping off the Mad Hatter too? Sure. No, we just got out of one death trap today. So we can do I want to go home. No. I really gotta. <laughs> yeah, Ed. I gotta Ed's... feed my cats. Anna. Ed's gonna die. Sweet. Jackie looks like she's fallen down 12 consecutive flights of stairs. I did, but it, technically. Whatever. Moving it, on. When you said you got out of the building, do you mean you fell down a How fucking How did you fall down? I didn't fall down flights of stairs. It was fine. You gave me the, the, the equipment to climb out of the building. Did you forget that? I did. I did do that. Yeah. What? The carabiner. We, we, and the like, no, on what? You, a carabiner isn't a jetpack, Jackie. You know, it's not a freaking <laughs> jetpack, Ollie. But you, I just worked with what I had. Okay. So clearly there are disagreements what? about if this contract is finished. Can we agree that we disagree? Oh, yeah, we can agree to disagree. Okay. Let's, let's circle back to this after everyone is recovered. Okay. Yeah, I would. I would really like to take a nap. Um, okay. I gotta oh. say, Ed, Ed, don't, don't fall asleep. You have a concussion. You, you cannot, cannot sleep. Fall asleep. No, but I'm so tired. Absolutely not. I will. I'm you gonna get. Uh, my eye. I'm gonna get some water from the kitchen and just like chuck it at you. I'm going <laughs> to go to my mom's uh, like stereo system, put in a Tito Puente disc, and blast <laughs> that shit. Oh, and, yeah, and and is, as you good music. <laughs> yeah, and, and as the music starts blasting, that is when the door opens again. Uh, Carrie comes back in uh, with uh, this um, dorky-looking little guy uh, who uh, I think is is uh, has like a, a doctor's bag over his shoulder um, and uh, is probably just dressed in like a t-shirt and jeans and uh she she's saying 
uh, Albert, sweetie, thank you so much for helping us. It's it's it means the world to me, and I know you're so busy with your medical school and just taking the time. You know, we got we got a couple people who are in trouble, and it's just so sweet of you. You just you're a good kid, and um, Albert is like, uh, okay, everybody, um, I'm gonna, oh, no. <laughs> I'm Albert. Oh. Hey, uh, hey, Adam, how you doing? What's Hi, up? Al. How you doing? Um, good to meet all of you. Uh, if if everybody could just that <laughs> that like easy chair over there looks pretty good. So uh, I'll just sort of see each of you in turn. Um, I've definitely seen worse in the ER, so you don't have to worry about this. Uh, I'm I I'm almost I'm practically a doctor. Uh, is what they keep telling me, so it's fine. And we are going to uh, we we get a scene of uh, e- each of you uh, sort of going through a remarkably competent medical examination uh, uh, in uh, in one of Carrie's uh, easy chairs in her living room while in the background uh, she is uh, bringing uh, coffee out to everybody. Um, we are decidedly in downtime now. So I think uh, you are certainly all taking the recuperate action. So baseline, everybody can move all of your marked harm down one level for free. And because of the uh, because of the critical success that got you the doctor, you're going to take it down another. So everybody is moving all marked harm down two levels. No more harm for me. Zero it out. So if I have a full minor and a full moderate, I would just get rid of both moderates, right? So you you end up, I think, with two minor harm, Ed, because essentially you have a minor harm that moves off, right? And then you have... Uh, a uh, a moderate harm that moves on and then it repeats. So you're left with two minor harm. Yeah. Yeah, Ed fully has a concussion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Um, everybody can uh, obviously refresh their gear and I want to know how, how long do y'all hang out here? And if it is a while, what is it that everyone does to take a breather after this job and clear your stress? Before oh. before we begin downtime proper, yeah, Holly gives like a um. I was trying to think of something cooler, like car related, but I don't. I'm not actually very mechanically inclined, so I think it's just a um. Like it's a piece of stamped steel that's roughly business card st- sized, with um, with a, uh, a a phone number just kind of like stamped out of it. So like if you hold it up, you can see through it. Uh, to Albert, it just says um, clap like gives him a clap on the shoulder, and you ever need anything? Oh, thanks, man. That's really uh, it's really cool of you, Brad. <laughs> so yeah are are you hanging out at the uh the jimenez's apartment and if so what do you do to clear your stress while you're there we can start i think uh as it is your home turf with adam i mean i live here so i'm sticking around um yes, yes. i don't think I could leave if I wanted to, but um, Adam is gonna. Ad- Adam only took minor harm, so like, is already like, like his look over by Albert is like real quick, and he's already like kind of not a fan of Albert. They, Albert forced Adam to play anesthesia as kids way too often. <laughs> um, it's a real quick glance over. It's really just surface level cuts and you know minor injuries like bruises and just a little bit of that bill it's yeah, really not sure. bad so adam is primarily just like trying to be a good host and like providing 
drinks, food, any comfort available to, to anyone who needs it. Okay. Does that, do you feel, relieve your stress? It sounds like you are helping to relieve the stress of others. I think once everybody's out of here, then I'll be able to de-stress. Okay. So we can circle back to you. We can circle back for yeah. that. Cool. Uh, what about, let's say, Jackie? I think Jackie will stay long enough to be assured that Ed is going to be okay. Um, she is not going to feel calm until that money is back at her and Harvey's apartment. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so you are also going to hold your stress clear. Yeah, she, she's, she's not going to stick around long. She's going to stick around again enough to make sure y'all are okay and then you know, she's probably going to leave at like me pointing at you, Adam. I'm not done having this conversation. No, we're not. All right. Ollie? Ollie is um, kind of, Ollie's feeling pretty good. They they bounce back quick. Um, they're mostly concerned about um, Ed and Concussion and Jackie, who's looking shockingly you know, she still like looks like shit, but she's, she's gonna. God, how do you feel so bad? It's, uh, it's the youth said. Bullshit. Enjoy it while you got it. <laughs> um, and they're gonna text uh, text those pictures to Ivy. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Make a note of that. Uh, employee record to Ivy. Cool. Okay. So I think then Ollie and Jackie, you're probably starting to head out and, and Carrie is like, uh, are you sure you don't want to stay for dinner? Oh, it's not sound? any trouble at all. You know, it's, listen, I can tell you've had quite a day and nothing, <laughs> nothing helps like a hot home cooked meal. Um, oh, That's, and what uh... did we say? We, we established what she was making this evening. Oh, I did. Ah, I don't it was remember. Adam's favorite food. Was it Mofongo? It was Mofongo, yes. Yeah, Mofongo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and she says, uh, <laughs> cooking up Mofongo. Uh, it's Adam's favorite. It's, uh, it's real sweet, but uh, I got someone that's going to be worried about me. Well, that's good. Good to have someone who is worried about you. Uh, thanks for letting us uh, crash. Uh, you sticking around that? You gonna grab some food and then make sure you're not. I mean, look if it's out. on the table. I've been had a hot meal though. <laughs> well, unless you count, uh, you know, Chunky's uh, soup <laughs> as a hot meal, which I guess it is hot. You know, I definitely have not eaten it cold. <laughs> Sweetheart, <laughs> not. it would absolutely make my evening if you stayed for dinner. Oh I my think god! That I would love to. I would. Absolutely love to take advantage of your hospital. I it's and if I can help in the kitchen, um Ed, <laughs> you have a know. concussion. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's like that's, uh, Ed. that's fine. You just sit down here and she she sort of like pushes you <laughs> back onto the couch. You just sit down here. We'll have a nice meal. How's that sound? That sounds amazing. Thank you. This, uh, um, I think Ollie does the well. <laughs> yeah, and she she sees uh, Ollie and Jackie. She sees you to the to the door, um, and as as she you know opens it for you, says Ollie, you uh, it's good to see you again. Glad you do. Well, uh, I'd say taking care of yourself, but <laughs> evidence to the contrary. I, I'm definitely a different person than the last time we met. That, I think, gets through to her. And she she was being polite before. Um, but that's actually gotten Carrie's attention. And she sort of nods approvingly. Like, okay. That's good to hear. You take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm good. I'm gonna get this... Uh, this uh, maniac home or her uh, boyfriend gets too uh, anxious. I got some errands. So, uh, yeah, just, I mean, 
You don't want to make your girlfriend anxious either. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Ed yells from the other room. It's not... That's <laughs> not my not my girlfriend, but uh, my boss. It's 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 fine. Don't worry about it. It, it was lovely seeing you again. Um, come on, Jackie, we gotta go. Ooh, uh, does Ollie think it would be uh, a faux pas to call um, uh, dot 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 in front of? At this point, you have no fucking idea. All bets are off. Ooh, I'm gonna roll a dice. Okay, roll it. Roll it. See what happens. We'll, even, we'll, fuck, we'll, fuck, we'll fuck around and find out. There it is. A uh, dot dot dot. Make sure Ed gets uh, gets in a car or something home. Hmm, safe. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> dot dot dot. That's an interesting one. It's not usually what I call my little Picasso. Oh, that's. And Jack, they, uh, Jackie's face <laughs> like the Everyone is saying the wrong name for the wrong times. Black Picasso. <laughs> and the uh, oh my the God. two of you, Ollie and Jackie, leave the apartment and head down the stairs, uh, leaving a uh, a what uh, how would you describe adam's uh attitude i i wanted to say dejected is that quite right it's more yeah adam a, died it's, a, it's, more, <laughs> it's more of a deflated yeah a def deflated that's good leaving a deflated adam adam was uh, so happy after the heist yeah and uh and carrie who uh, as you as the door closes you can see uh turning back to ed with a big smile and we uh, we follow the two of you down and out of the apartment building. Um, are you going back together, or are you are you splitting up at this point? Uh, I think we'll walk as far as we need to together until we need to split. Okay. Up. All right. Great. Oh yeah, or a ride. That'd be great. Um, most of the people in this neighborhood can't afford it, so. Well, we're gonna walk like I don't know, like six blocks that way, and find something expensive. Cool. Okay. Oh, so yeah. you, we, we see the two of you uh, headed down the block uh, in in the direction of the Ritzier cars, and Jackie, you almost unconsciously reach back into your pocket and. You can feel the little scrap of paper that the Batman handed you that has oh my God. the location of the Mad Hatter's hideout on it. Oh, no. And that's yeah. where we're leaving it for this yeah. time. Yeah! Woo! Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomless Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I uh, also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash Andre Vera Art. We can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with... Uh, my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world biker club which is very fun you should check it out i have been hopper regrettably i will continue to be hopper um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, 
In addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing Flights of Fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, MaddieCourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DeBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.